At least 15 people or 15 children are dead from the flu, and the CDC says the illness is considered widespread in 36 states. Many people are sick right now and may be wondering if they should go to the doctor. News Channel Line's Betsy Golden got tested for the flu today. She joins us now with more. Betsy. Well, good evening, Calvin. So many of us are coming down with flu-like symptoms, and we're not sure if it's a common cold or the early stages of the flu. So today we wanted to show you how easy it is to get tested, and if the result is positive, what you should do. <coughs> we went to visit a couple doctor's offices today to see how crowded they are and how busy they are with patients experiencing flu-like symptoms and to get tested for the flu. So this is for the flu. Right. This is a nasopharyngeal swab. What this means is it has to go up into the nasal region okay. because that's where the flu originates when it first starts of onset. But while we waited, we had some time to talk about prevention and symptoms. Some of the top symptoms for the flu are fever, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, and body aches, very similar to the symptoms of a common cold. Doctors say definitely come in to see them if you've had a fever over 102 for two days. Well, I've definitely been seeing a lot of flu, a lot of flu-like symptoms, uh, people coming in with congestion, cold, coughing, a lot of fever. Doctors say the flu will continue through February and say one reason the flu has affected so many people is because the vaccine was not effective. Well, this year it wasn't. Um, although I can tell you the patients I've seen who had the vaccine and have the flu have not been as sick as the patients who didn't have the vaccine and have the flu. But in general, the shot this year did not cover the, the flu. The flu spreads through droplets made when people cough or sneeze or talk. Doctors say that you stay home if you've tested positive for the flu, wear a face mask if you have one, and cover your sneezes with a tissue. And of course, wash your hands often. And after 15 minutes, I tested negative for the flu, so I had to come back to work. And now doctors recommend you stay home for at least 24 hours after your symptoms are gone before you head back to work or get back to your normal routine.